England are not at Euro 2008, but still Chelsea make the headlines every day by signing Scolari. What do you make of that appointment? I believe it's a good choice because everybody respects the guy, he communicates a lot with the media and then there will be a, a, a good balance, you know, respect and communication at the same time. While maybe Mourinho was communicated in a way that journalists didn't like it and, and Scolari will be loved also by his players. You can see that with Portugal, they love him also, he's a very strong guy and he's a world champion as a coach. Then what do you want more than this? Some people have said that perhaps Chelsea showed a little bit of lack of respect for Portugal and for the tournament by announcing it in the middle of the tournament rather than at the end. What, what do you make of that? No, they could not keep the information like that. I arrive a moment where several persons, from the moment that there's more than two people who knows about it, <laughs> it will come out. Then, uh, then they decided to, to make the announcement uh, uh, a bit before. Then it's the deal, then we have forgotten, uh, Portugal is qualified, uh, then, then it's good, at least he's free and, uh, and it will not change the motivation of his players uh, towards him because it's the nation first of all that the player are, are, when they are wearing the shirt, it's not running for the coach. What's gone wrong for France and who is going to go through? My opinion is that uh, they have not started very well, especially France at the beginning. And when you don't start very well the competition, you don't get the confidence who will bring you, you know, at your real level. And for France, we're having a small problem because we don't have any more the playmaker who is making the difference.